No mother should have to bury a son. Fathers are not meant to bury their daughters. I totally agree. Because it's not in the natural order of things for parents to bury their children. But again, Herodotus, one of the greatest Greek historians and geographers, once said, in peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their sons. Herodotus, too, was absolutely right. Was there peace in a household? Absolutely right. Was there love? There was a lot of immeasurable, immense love in my family. Did we support each other? Yes. And there was a lot of positive energy to the very last moment. But the question begs, was there war? Why is it that we have to bury our child? And I believe there must be a war. There must be a war somewhere. A war we are not aware of as a family, as friends, as aunties, and as parents. There must have been a war in a realm beyond our human compression. And we leave that to our dear God. But in, in such moments, I remember what my late mom, Mehal, so rest in peace, used to tell me. Ketmanalamo. Ketmanalamo means always take it to God in prayer. Every time I use, I was a mama's boy, I'm still my mama's boy, I consult her in a grave every once in a while. Every time I had something, a hurdle, I used to call her, including financial hurdle, which I knew she couldn't help, but she normally used to tell me, Kate Manalamo. She also, she also used to tell me to learn to thank and glorify God in good and bad times when winning and when losing, when in adversities, and even when in hell and in high waters. And today, in honor of my mom, I pick up her fond message and just want to thank God in a special way. First of all, I want to thank God for bringing Mary Black into my life because she ushered me into parenthood at a tender age of 24 and gave me a reason to believe that there is no hood better than fatherhood. From that moment on, my life was forever changed. I was filled with purpose, passion, fire, anger for success, and immense joy to date. I was ever present in a life. Mom can attest, and a stepmom can attest too. We celebrated every growth milestone a milestone with her from her first smile from her first word Baba to her final word on that uh, on 28th around 3 a.m. her final word was I love you bra she used to call me bra you know the Gen Z's and I used to call her my love had a very personal relationship with my daughter. Some things we talked about. 
secret we share. The small, small milestone the two moms don't even know about to date. Because I believed I was transitioning early and I was the one to leave this earth before her. I also want to celebrate our, our, our father-daughter date nights. A culture I started with my daughter when she was as young, uh, she was in class eight. And to this very June 2024, we had our final I didn't know it was final, but we had our last father-daughter date night. It used to happen every Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month, and we obeyed that religiously. That's where we connected, we spoke, she aired all that she wants us to talk about. Because I believe that in preparation, in preparing and protecting a girl child mind, not her body. That's why Marie finished high school without any hitches, you heard the mom say it. So these date nights, I will continue going, but will always place a rose on the opposite side of the table. Honor of Marie. Marie used, always insisted that in the beginning there was dad. A sweet appreciation that touched my heart deeply. She never believed that there's somebody else above dad. She refused to. Every time she remembered how far we've come, she always said in the beginning that I was dead. Today I refuse to mourn her untimely demise and instead turn back again to God and thank him for the 19 years of laughter joy, learning from each other, and the precious opportunity that God gave me to be Marie's father. I thank God for the constant fun, endless laughter, and the emotional